you are one of the people that everyone looks at as their gear, your wrestling gear, and you and Matt Cardona, when you come together and you have matching gear together, who puts your gear together? Like, what is the cost? You don't have to give them an exact number, but because it's not like you're showing up in the same wrestling gear every time I see you somewhere in TNA. You're wearing custom-made gear for special occasions, and you're wearing special gear for TNA. What's the cost, and who's putting this together? So it's a collaborative effort. It really does take a team of people for certain things. The gear that I wore at TNA I've, at the pay-per-view, I've had a lot of people ask, like, was it inspired by Elizabeth's, like, coat, and, you know, because the stars and the black and the white and whatever. Yeah. And maybe subliminally I had that image in my head. But honestly, for me, for this one, I was just going, I want to do like black pleather, like the wet look. And I think white stars, like the contrast would look awesome. And then, you know, I knew I wanted to get the boots. So so for me, this one was just like a actually a really basic idea that I knew would look great. But certain things, basic pops more you know black yeah. and white and red lipstick like that's all it needs to be the matching knee pads the matching boots whatever but there are certain things where it becomes a lot more convoluted a lot more expensive because for the most part we're usually paying a designer to draw the gear then so we've paid this person x amount for the design then we're getting it sent to a gear designer so then we're paying them x amount to get it made Oftentimes it's a last minute deal. So we're giving them an extra hundred bucks to get it rush ordered to us so we can get it the day of the pay-per-view or the day of the show. So, and then I'm getting new boots, which is going to be an extra 300 bucks. So it's like the whole thing is a very, I would say Matt and I put more effort into our gear and what we're wearing and what we're going to look like than we do the actual wrestling match, because that is the stuff that is remembered and kind of lives in a legacy more than a spot in the match would. So we always emphasize we need to look fantastic. Yeah, no, and, and you're pulling it off. So if anyone never told you that, you guys are doing a great job at that because I've seen Macho Man Miss Elizabeth. I've seen the ECW custom-made gear. You know, you talked about your teen egg gear, subliminally being messaged to you by Miss Elizabeth. It, it's amazing to see, but like you, is there one person, like you said, there's someone designing it and then, who is the seamstress? Because I know certain wrestlers have certain people they use, but like you're talking about someone has to draw the gear up. And you're talking about new boots too. When you wear new boots, what's that like being in the ring? Because obviously you have boots that you're you know wearing in, you're having on, but now you got to put new ones on. It's like putting new shoes on. You got to get them going a little bit. Yeah. So luckily my boot maker has been making my boots my entire career. So we've okay. kind of gotten the mold down to like, they fit like a glove. And obviously sometimes, you know, you get a set of gear and you're like, oh, it doesn't really fit the way here that I wanted it to. And same for boots and same for everything. It's the way it is. But for the most part, I just kind of lace my boots up. I do, I jump around a little bit. Well, I always try them on at home before okay. I go, but I used to want to like, when I got new boots, like I used to want to go to training and do like a training session in the boots or whatever. But now it's like, realistically, I don't have time for that. So I just put them on, make sure I lace them up really tight, make sure my ankles feel secure, you know, jump around a little bit, make sure it feels good. And then it's kind of, well, I think we're okay. <laughs> <laughs>